So going live with a training event using Livestorm. I have just set up the Livestorm event and I have got some emails which are reminders saying, hey, we've got an hour to go. You've got five minutes to go for those who have re registered for the event. And they also get an email afterwards if they show up to the event. How did you find it? And if they don't show up, they get an email anyway with a link to the replay. Now, what that was, if you haven't seen any of that, then check out this video here, which will show you how I set that up. But now in this video that you're watching right now, <laughs> we're going to go live. So let me do that right now. And so I have got this event and I've got it uh, scheduled for a particular time. And I'm gonna pretend that that time has come and I'm going to go live. So I've clicked on the event. I want to go live, not past sessions, upcoming sessions. And what I want to do is I can view the registrants first, how many people have registered for it. The only one is me at the moment. I can go in and make changes to, to all of the settings around the event, but I'm not going to do any of that. I'm not going to delete the event. I'm just going to hit cancel here, and I'm actually going to go live I'm going to go into the event room. So here is where I go. And so I can join the room before anybody else comes in. And so there's two things here to note. One is to start the event, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be on stage. So you could be the host of the event and you may never be going on camera. And so starting the event is you click here to start event and you can go on stage. So go on stage is, you can go on stage before you start the event or you can start the event and then go on stage. I would go on stage first and this way you can check your camera, you can check that you've got your right microphone and you can adjust those things here. And if you have got, and so I'm going to, I could change that microphone to my fancy microphone. I'm going to leave it at the internal one at the moment. And then the other thing that I can do, okay, I can open up the chat. I can see if there are questions. So this question section allows you to have something separate from the chat because sometimes the chat is between attendees. The questions are really very specific. Let's answer this question and you click on, yep, I'm going to answer that question and specifically it makes it easier for people to, to find instead of searching through all of the chat looking for questions. And you can you can put up a poll as well, you can add a poll, I'm not going to do that, and uh, you can also uh, connect or disconnect people, which I'm not going to do since I'm the only person on this. <laughs> Now, the other thing I want to show you is I want to share my screen. So let me, let me say I have got a screen open and I want to share, I want to share my YouTube channel. So if I go back into here, I can remember I haven't started the event yet. And so there's no recording happening. Audio video settings. I can click on share and I can share a, a presentation, share a video, share a call to action. There's a lot of things I could share, but I'm just gonna make it easy for myself. I'm going to share my screen. So I'm gonna have something already on my screen and I'll go share screen. And I'm going to go to the Chrome tab and that's the screen I'm going to share is go there, share. Now let me jump straight back into Livestorm and you can see that this is the screen that I'm sharing and you can see me down the bottom. Now I can swap those two around. I can maximize myself and then have the screen share very, very small, okay? And I can simply stop sharing that screen by hitting remove this stream. All right, so that's it. And now the next thing I wanna do is actually start the event. And remember, on the free version of Livestorm, you've only got 20 minutes, 20, and you can only have 10 people register for it. So I'm gonna go start the event. And it says, no, 20 minutes maximum. So you're gonna to have to be very, very organized and very fast. And it's giving me a warning, hey, you're starting this event a bit early. 
is that okay because you're not supposed to start for another three hours i really like this i'm going to go start event and going live wow this is scary this is like tv isn't it okay don't forget to smile i like that gives you confidence great way to start and we are live with this training and i am showing you what videos should consultants create i'd like to welcome everybody i want to give you a little bit of housekeeping we've got in the chat you can add some comments in the chat if you've got questions put them in the questions not in the chat and i'm going to be making a replay available for you which i will be sharing you're going to get this even if you didn't actually even if you're not live <laughs> you're going to get the uh, the replay okay so that's that's how i would deliver the event i could share my screen i could make it just talking head i could make it just a conversation q and a but remember i've got a 20 minute limit i get to see how many people are here uh, one person is connected to my live event at the moment and then when i'm ready to finish off say goodbye and then i can click on end event and then he it says what well, wait are you sure they won't be able to connect to this room again and i say yeah that's fine and so i can click on end event and that's it now this is really interesting too it says the replay will be available soon anyway i just wanted to show you what the experience is when you are creating a live event in livestorm uh really really not nice and easy to do and when we go back into the livestorm dashboard we're going to be able to see let me just review that and that's going to be probably a, a right, wait, past start. event now and we are in fact with this in fact it has gone and ready to play i could even download that recording which is really good and then i could upload it to youtube or something like this so that's a really really good facility there I'm really finding this live storm thing very easy to use very very nice and easy now when i go back here i can see upcoming sessions there are none but past sessions i've got this one here which is a two minute um two minute video that you have just seen and you can see the uh, event room and you get to see the past sessions that I've got. So that's really easy. And then once again, very easy for me to, to share that with the world. Okay. So let's just see if we've got any other sessions here. Oh, okay. So one thing to note, and I missed this before, is that when you've got an event, an event may have multiple sessions. So for example, supposing your event has got is going to be a five part series, five weekly uh, calls with a group of people. So you could have one event with five uh, five calls. So, so that's a pretty interesting and, and good way of doing it as well. And so we've now got a we're now starting to build up a bank of events a library of events that we can now share and you can share the link uh, to the replay and that's also even got uh, the, the the landing pages on it with the emails and so on so that's all very nice as well so that's how to do it in livestorm if you found this helpful if you'd like to do this yourself then check the link the registration link for livestorm in the description below Remember, events on the free live storm are limited to only 20 minutes, so really micro training. But once you've done that, then you know hopefully you'll get a few people registering, and once they do that, they will just say, "Well, you know what? <laughs> let's make this. Uh, let, let's get the paid version." So see the link in the description below, and if you want to go back and see how I set up this event before I actually started running the event, then check out this video that is on the screen right now.